Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my empties video um, for October. I have so many and I don't have a lot of time, but I do want to get through them as much as I can. First one I want to quickly mention because I will be mentioning it in my next update for finish uh, 8 by Bonfire Night, which it nearly is. And it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20. I will talk about this more in that and I'll give you a mini review there um, so quite a lot to get through I'm just going to pull things out and then um, I'll just be putting them straight into a bin to be honest I'll put them straight into here my Primark bag so um, first of all we have one of my favorite all-time perfumes the Stella by Stella McCartney I got this for Christmas and there's this teeny tiny bit in there that I just can't get out this was the 50 mil I love 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 this perfume and there's just nothing that smells quite like it. It's like florally and fresh at the same time. It's just incredible. One of my favourite scents. Oh, itch of all time. If you can hear something, it's Claire trimming the hedges. Um, <laughs> the hedges outside. And it's quite wet, actually, so I ought to be keeping an eye on her. So that's going in the bin. It's all finished. Um, next up is a Bayliss and Harding Sweet Mandarin and Grapefruit Luxury Shower Cream. I didn't think much of this, actually. It didn't really foam up much. Um, and it left my skin feeling a little bit dry. So I'm glad that it was just a small one. So, yeah, didn't think much of that one. The scent was quite nice. Very subtle. Um, speaking of body washes, um, we finished the Refreshing Shower Gel 2-in-1 Shampoo and Shower Gel with Eucalyptus and Grapefruit extra Extract. It is green and it smells... It's from Aldi. It's the Aqua V one from Aldi. And it is literally a dupe for the Radox one. Um, smells the same, performs the same. We really like this. M lots cheaper and, um, yeah, really great. We, we keep repurchasing this. We've got it on the go at the moment. I have got others as well, but that's the one that we really like. Um... What else have I got here? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this was a sample of a serum that I've depotted into here. I finished this part. I've got another one at the moment, and I think it was called the Organic. I wish I'd remembered what it was called. It was really good. It was an organic, I think, natural one. I'll have to find it out. I can't remember what it was called, but it was really, really good. That was good. I didn't like the scent of it very much, but it was quite nice. Um. Okay, I finished up one of my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Waters. I love this formula. I haven't tried the new one, but I've heard really bad things about it. So I'm going to probably look at something else. I think the simple one is meant to be very good. And um, I will probably try that. I'll see if it's on offer. This, I think, is really good. Some people say it hurts their eyes, but it's never been bad for my eyes. I've never felt it do anything bad for my eyes. I can literally leave it on my eyes and, and wipe it off. Um, it's a really good cleansing water. It Does it do 200 duties? Yeah, probably. I use three cotton pads to take off my makeup, as well as using an eye makeup remover and a toner as well. You're not supposed to use a toner because it does that, but I just can't help but think that using an extra step just to get that last bit off is probably good. But I do love these. I think really great value for money because I always got them when they were about £2.50 from um, Tesco. So yeah, I've still got another one, luckily, but then I've got the new one, so I'm going to give it a go, but this is a really good formula. Next up is the Herbal Essences Deep Nourishing Intensive Mask. Now, I know that Steph Seeing Spots loves this. I only, I've only i been using it for a little while. I got it from a pound shop or something. It smells of coconuts, really lovely, but it does nothing for my hair. Like, there's no nourishment for my curly hair. It doesn't make it any softer. It probably does for people with um nice straight hair but it doesn't really work for me um speaking of hair masks um the beauty protector protect and treat treatment mask this is so thick it's lovely but it still doesn't make my hair ultra soft the only thing that ever worked for me deep like a deep intensive mask was the osmo one I love that and i'm gonna have to repurchase it i probably i've got another pot of this i had four little pots from um uh, when I was, what was I doing, uh, from beauty boxes, and yeah, I really do like it, but it's not something I will repurchase. Um, I finished up a telescopic, full slash telescopic, infinite length effect fibres lash mascara in Magnetic Black by L'Oreal. It's got a really, oh, now it doesn't look so empty. It was really dry, 
but now it doesn't look very empty. Anyway, this is the wand. It's like a really flat, that way, see that? It's like a flat paddly wand. Very short bristles here. I wonder if you can see that very well. Mm, not really. Um, but I really like this mascara. I'm trying out some others at the moment. The one I have on at the moment, I'm loving, which is the H&M one. A lot cheaper than this as well. So um, will I repurchase? Might, might do, might repurchase. Another mascara I finished was the Long Length Mascara by Freedom. I really liked this. Oh, now it's got stuff in. It's so weird. I thought it went a bit dry. Hmm. That smells fine. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why that is in the rubbish because I really like this mascara. Um, I think I'll put that back in my collection. Maybe I put it in there by mistake. Maybe I thought it was finished. Who knows? I also finished up this little sample of the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate Serum. This is actually very, very good, but there is no way on this earth that I'm spending £80 on a bottle of serum. Not a chance. So, no, I wouldn't repurchase. Um, and I also finished the LA Girl Pro Powder. I've just bought another one, but it's not this one. I bought the um, powder by, what's it called? Um, Gosh. Which is just the same, but I think this is really, really good. Um, it was it also I also replaced it with the Makeup Forever one, put that in here, and I finished that off. Um, and I didn't like it as much as this one actually, the Makeup Forever one. Didn't think it was that good. Um, another powder that I love, 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 love is the Java Rice powder by Bourjois. It is a limited edition. No, it's not limited edition. It was a um, it was on a hundred and fiftieth anniversary. Yeah, reinterprets its legendary Java rice powder. Anyway, ultra fine, velvety texture for smooth and radiant complexion. Absolutely, this is gorgeous. If you want a dewy finish, but we still want to set your makeup, this is just perfect. It's got a bit of highlight in there, but not overly so. I'll just see if I can show you on my hand. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it's such a lovely soft powder and it smells of roses. I just love this gorgeous and it's about 9.99 so not too expensive it lasts quite a while i'm got another pot on the go at the moment and then i finished the in transit camera close-up mask moisturizer and primer in one this is very similar to the embryolise that i loved um i had this one i wanted to try this one out this was okay but it wasn't as nice as the embryolise and at the moment i'm using the elemis flash balm <clears throat> i'm enjoying that more actually it's a bit stickier though, the flash balm. Very much a balm rather than a moisturiser. It still moisturises, but it's got a balm texture. This was okay, but I wouldn't repurchase. I know how much it is, so there's not a chance. Um, I'd probably repurchase the Embryo Lease if I'm going to repurchase any, but I'm going to still work with this flash balm, see how that goes. I finished up a sample of the Mario Badesco um, Seaweed Cleansing Lotion. I really like this. It's a toner and cleansing lotion. Um, I thought this was really, really nice and I am considering repurchasing, but I have a lot of toners on the go at the moment. And in fact, there's another one that's empty that I need to go and get from over there. Um, the scent was actually quite nice. It didn't sting my eyes. Um, yeah, I thought this was really, really nice and I might try it. Um, it actually has witch hazel in it, I've just noticed. Aloe vera bladder rack extract witch hazel and simoleant and it doesn't smell awful it smells different um i wouldn't choose the scent but i would definitely give this a go and i think i got this in a beauty bay order um as a free gift so i thought that was really good i'm using the cleanser at the moment and i'm quite enjoying it um but i think i preferred this to the cleanser as in a facial wash um, and my penultimate empty is this, the Smoothie Star Oat Sugar and Shea Breakfast Scrub by Soap and Glory um, with organic Kapuko, ka, ka, Kapuaku bio, bio scrubs, gosh, bananas, almond and honey extracts with great maple scent. The scent of this is stunning. Oh, it smells so good. But it wasn't my favourite scrub. I've just repurchased my um, Sugar Crush one 
the scrub in this wasn't as coarse. It was coarse, but it wasn't as coarse and didn't leave, not just the coarseness, there wasn't a lot of oil in this one. The other one's got more oil in and it makes you feel a lot softer. Um, I, I don't know, I have to stroke my skin while I'm doing that. This is good and I wouldn't, if somebody bought this for me, I'd be quite happy with it, but I prefer the Sugar Crush one. Sugar Crush one smells of chocolate limes as well, which I really like, but this has got a lovely, gorgeous breakfasty scent, but it's just not my favorite. Um, and then my final thing I'm just going to have to go and get, just bear with me. And it is um, another toner and it's the L'Oreal New Skin Perfection Velvety Soft Toner. Removes impurities, reveals toned and silky smooth skin, hypoallergenic, no parabens and suitable for sensitive skin. I don't really like it. I have another one. Claire bought it because she thought it looked quite nice. Um, we really enjoyed the Queshi, um toner that I got in a glossy box. And we just can't find it anywhere. So she thought this might be a good alternative. It's taken me forever to get through this. So if you want a toner that lasts a lifetime, this one seriously does last a long time. Um, it Basically, when it goes onto the pad, it's almost like a gel consistency rather than a water consistency. So it sort of runs off the pad. So what I did was put it in the middle of the pad and then fold the pad together so it went, set, sank into the pad. When you put it on your face, it makes your skin feel very soft, but almost leaves a residue, which I don't like. It doesn't make it feel clean. You know, with a toner, you want to sort of feel a bit of a tingle so that you feel like you've really deep cleaned your face. This doesn't do that. I used to use this only at night time before I so it's sort of part of my nighttime regime. It didn't feel like I was clean enough in the mornings. So that's probably why it probably why it took so long. Um, I do have another bottle because Claire has bought two of these because it was on offer. So I'm probably going to get through this. Claire doesn't like this at all. Um, I might use it. And if I notice a difference without using it, then I might repurchase. But honestly, it's not my favourite. Um, this is 200 mils as well. It just took forever. It really did. Really took a long time. Not that my skin's been terrible or anything. Using it didn't break me out. It's not the worst thing in the world. But it just, there was something about it I didn't enjoy. Whew. So that is my empties for October. Thank you so, so much for sticking with me. This was a quicker video than I expected. But obviously it's still not um, as quick as you know, you guys want it. But, you know, that that's me. That's my videos. Anyway, I look forward to seeing my next one. Um, I've got swatches on my hands still from earlier. Um, let me know what you've finished and what you've enjoyed. If any of the ones that I have finished and you've enjoyed, let me know, um, you know, what, I've, what I'm missing. Um, and, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Take care now.